What's up, it's Neem Williams and today we're gonna make vegetable and tofu kimchi stew. Now, kimchi sometimes is made with like fish oil and stuff, so you might wanna check the uh, label before you get kimchi, um, if you wanna make it vegan or something, or you have a problem with fish oil. But uh, other than that, sit back, relax, try this recipe at home. You could also make it with uh, chunks of pork um, but today we're gonna make the vegetarian one. It's not a classic recipe. I just kind of make my own recipe. So uh, if you want to try it, try it out. These are the ingredients you're gonna want: a zucchini, two small jalapenos, shiitake mushrooms, some oyster mushrooms. I got this is like the Korean soybean paste right here fermented this stuff's really good flavors it up really nice and then this is a red chili paste korean style you need this um i have some vegetable base right here firm tofu sesame oil your favorite kimchi whatever you want you want a nice jar full about a pound or so and some sushi rice and tons of water. We got some green onion and some chili flakes. I like to make the base of my soup with uh, washing off rice. It makes a nice starchy water. It's really good to start your soup with. First thing you want to do is heat up a pan on medium heat. Add a little sesame oil. This is 30 ounces. I want about like 15 to like 17 ounces or so. Saute that down for about five minutes. Chop up your vegetables to how you want it. I like the half moon zucchini, about quarter of an inch thick so they stay crispy. Jalapenos. This is some green onion right here, chopped up. We're gonna cook some of that in there. We got our shiitake mushrooms and our oyster mushrooms are left in little batches. Our kimchi is about ready. It's starting to get a little see-through. So now we got our starchy rice water here. Two cups to pour that in first. Another two cups of the starchy rice water. The last two cups. So that makes six cups starchy rice water. So this is like condensed, better than bouillon, vegetable base right here. Um, it's about one teaspoon per cup, so we'll have to put six teaspoons in there. You don't have to use this, you could use just regular vegetable stock or broth or whatever. I just don't have any, so I'm using this. And one to two tablespoons of the uh, Korean red chili paste. Depends on how spicy you like your soup. You want to bring this to a boil, probably about 10 minutes. Okay, now we're going to add a teaspoon of this Korean pepper flakes right here, hot pepper flakes. Mm. Add two tablespoons of the uh, fermented soybean paste. Up your tofu, throw that in your pot. Jalapenos and green onions are in. Oyster mushrooms. In. Shiitake mushrooms. And there's zucchini. Mix everything up. And at this point, if you need to add more water, go ahead. It'll be fine. We're gonna cook it for about 10 more minutes. We want the zucchini to still have some kind of a crunch to it and not be completely soggy. This is a good time to uh, start some rice because this soup is so damn good with rice. Last thing you wanna do is chop up some green onion for topping and just wait for your soup to finish. You're good to go. And we are done. Now's a good time to uh, 
test your broth make sure it's to your liking if it's not to your liking all you have to do is add a little bit of water and it'll help it out and serve it up and enjoy Top it off with some green onion. Have it on the side of some rice. And there you go. Vegetable and tofu kimchi stew. Side of rice. Delicious.